Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we know, you can reserve first class seats on an airplane. To book on of the seats can be very expensive. They could be double the price of an economy ticket. We also know that many rich people today buy homes that are worth several million pounds or millions of dollars. Both the millionaire and first class travelers feel that they are spending their money to secure something better. We see in today's gospel, Jesus compliments Mary, Martha's younger sister. He says, and yet few are needed, indeed only one. It is Mary who has chosen the better part. It is not to be taken from her. So why is it the better part that Mary has chosen? Simply that Mary let God into her life and heart. She thirsted to meet God and she understood that the word of Jesus was the bread of eternal life and far more valuable than the daily bread. The Gospel tells us that Jesus came to a village and Mary and Martha welcomed him. Then Mary sat down at the Lord's feet and listened to him speaking. The words, welcome, sit down, and listen, describes how we should receive God. They described a thirst for God, and that is the best choice we can make in our lives. Once we do that, no one can take that away from us. Indeed, the word welcome means to open our minds and hearts to God. The words sit down and listen touch us the humility with which we receive the grace and love of God. The word listen reminds us of the need to hear what Jesus has to tell us about the kingdom of God. God the Father said to St. Peter, James, and John on the high mountain, This is my Son, the Beloved. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. In other place, Jesus also complimented the Virgin Mary. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. In the first reading from the book of Genesis, we hear how Abraham reacted when he saw three men standing nearby. As soon as he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to meet them and bowed to the ground. My Lord, I beg you, if I find favor with you kindly, do not pass your servant by. Consequently, the men who were angels told Abraham, I shall visit you again next year without fail, and your wife will then have a son. If we truly leave the words, welcome, sit down, and listen, we know we have chosen the better part in our lives. Dear brothers and sisters, the millionaire could spend money to buy the best plate in London or New York or any place in the world 
but he cannot buy a place in the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, because we know that Jesus said that Mary had chosen the better part, we ought to know how to react to the word of God and to the people in our lives. What does this mean? Firstly, a readiness and willingness to receive God in our minds and hearts. Many times Jesus had knocked at our door and we don't want to open it. Remember that all of us are sinners, so we need to be treated as Jesus said, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. It is the way we welcome and sit down with God. Secondly, we must love God first. When we try to spend time attending Mass, praying and listening to God's Word, when we are receiving the sacraments, brothers and sisters, consoling the sick and elderly, and so on, we let God into our lives and we have chosen the better part. And this cannot be taken from us. So may the grace and strength of God be with all of us to have give us courage to choose the better things and follow His will. Then we will be better prepared for His kingdom. Amen.